just made no one. I think if if she had been growing up today, she probably would have been racing in NASCAR. So I was home on the 17th, 62 years ago, when Andy came to see me. Oh, that love was something special. She graduated when she was 16 from high school, and she went to the county normal school, teaching school, for a year when she was 17. And then when she was 18, she got her first teaching job. Usually I had around 20. The most I had, I think, was 36. They could have 30, that many in the 30s, 36. It was pretty interesting when you had that many pupils. I remember Mildred to be an excellent teacher, and one of the things I do remember is that she um, brought the first technology into the classroom in the form of radio. Little kids, oh, we got to clap the erasers, you know, clean the erasers have more chalk dust on ourselves when we dispensed into the atmosphere. We were the original polluters. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Lippins uh, would uh, not fit into today's uh, educational system in that we had a tavern next door called Willowdale Tavern and they even built a steps over the, the fence so that she let us go over there for recess and for lunch to buy candy bars. Mildred truly was a patriot and a true educator in every sense of the word. You never know when somebody's going to be dark in front of you. I, I get a charge out of it that she's still got her driver's license. I mean, I've been amazed that she's driven this long. I really thought there would be some point, even a few years ago, where I thought, you know, but in the last year she's had, you know, she's had accidents and I just think, um, you know, I think it's reached that point where she, she can't drive. She did so much for so many, and she was very much a people person. She liked going places, meeting people, keeping old friends lifelong, and uh, very interested in life.